Whirly whirly, round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Hi, man, drums are on. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. I've received some mystery post, but look, it's very well secured with cello tape, so it's hopefully something rather good. It is something good, and uh, how wonderful. It. Um, I was uh, conversing online uh, on Twitter with somebody, um, and uh, they'll let me know whether or not they'd like to be mentioned in this video, and I'll mention them down below in the description, so please have a look there. And they were working on this kit, and it was doing their nutting. <sighs> it is actually a real kit too, it's not just a, a practice PCB. And uh, I thought it was a, a sort of practice PCB. It says, "Not no laughing at my soldering. Okay, I promise not to laugh at your soldering. So it looks to me though, just looking here real quick, let's see. Eddie 555 Could it be an Eddie 555 and a Decade Counter and a bunch of LEDs? Yes, I think it is, because it's probably some sort of spinning light roulette wheel that they love to make. These kits are just always the same thing, so that's good. I don't know if all the bits are in here, and it's a surface mount kit, which makes it that little bit more fun. It says here on the packet, though, Hex FM receiver. I don't think that's what this is. Uh, yeah, you've done all right. Job of soldering this. I'm... Uh, I'm not going to slag off your soldering, to be honest with you. It's very easy for me to slag off someone else's soldering. But actually, it's uh, it's um, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to give that a thumbs up. I think you've done a, a pretty good job there. We could certainly uh, finish this board off for you. I didn't really want to finish this board off for you right now. I just kind of wanted to do a kind of unboxing, but I think... What do you reckon, guys at home, guys and gals? I think we uh, ought to just at least have a go at placing a few components down before I lose interest. I'm just looking around real quick because I was not prepared and thus don't have a tweezers handy. Where have my tweezers gone? Now, if you've seen my other video about surface mount soldering, you'll know that the use of good tweezers, i.e. not these tweezers, is critical. If you don't have good tweezers, go out and buy some immediately. Otherwise, you're not going to be getting anywhere in any of these surface mount projects. Ah, oh, I think I'm going to have to take a jump cut because I just can't see it. Right, I found it all. I've put it on a white piece of paper though. Now I've found my tweezers so that we can have a closer look. We do have this one single surface mount resistor that's odd at the moment. So I need to find where this lives. Now, if you look closely, at a surface mount resistor and I'm really doubtful you're going to see this on camera but it actually says on it 205 which means this is a 2 mega ohm if you want to know how it all works these markings just have a, a look on um, you know Wikipedia or something so I'm just looking at the instructions it says it's an R49 so I'm looking at the board for all of the R numbers I'm gonna flip it this is what I didn't realize on the back it is a ch like a, a sort of learning board because it has a different size components right down to 040 bloody 2. So you're going to see what an 0402 surface mount looks like. But let's not worry about that now. We're still looking for R49 somewhere on this PCB. I can see R48 and R50 hanging out next to each other. R49, R59, 58, 57. Oh gosh. So this is the problem also when you don't have the CAD. So at least on the CAD file you could just look it up, type in R49 and say where where are you? Um see the back here. Again, the back doesn't actually have any markings for any of those components, so that's rather tedious. So the only thing I'm gonna to have to resort to to sort of save my eyes searching is just looking at this board here to see if I can find an R49 here. R61 Ah, dropped him. R50 is here. R40, R49. So it's coming from the, um, it'll be near the 555 chip somewhere from the VDD. So let's look at the board again. Somewhere near the VDD. So this is the 5 volts coming in here. Uh, 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 uh. 
and this is the 555 chip. Yeah, I'm such a doofus. Look, it's right there. R48, R50, R4. How did I miss that even bloody first time round? That's a problem you get. I don't know if it's age or ignorance, but uh, it certainly gets to you. I'm going to blame the light here. When it's under the camera, you see, I've got a very oblique angle to it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a light. It was a weather balloon and it obscured, it refracted off the upper atmosphere and that knackered my vision. Right, so at least that's in now. So that's good. That's how you do it. So R48 is a 10K. So among all of this is possibly a 10K. Uh, this is another 205, so that's another two meg. Um, the circuit diagram only shows one, so we'll put that aside for now. And it says there should be five 10K. So there's five of these bad boys. And these do say 103. So can you work out the magic code for a 10K if 103 is a 10K? I'm sure you can. I'm not even gonna tell you. A 10? What, maybe three noughts? That's how I'd go. Right, R48 is our 10K, so let's pop that near there. So as before in the uh, sort of tutorial video, you'll see that I just tinder pad, pop the component in place with the twizzlers, the twizzlers, and then uh, just hit the other side. Done. Gonna go. For, I'll do a couple more, and then we'll. Uh, then I'll go offline. I think you don't need to watch me suffering through all of this. This pain. I, but you know, I feel I, I need to do it now. So you've got R61, R62, R63, and R64. All of these, one, two, three, four. Now they're all 10K too. So that was a, a point I was trying to make, by the way, last time on these videos, because saying how tedious the through hole stuff is. But now you can see how quick the surface mount stuff is when you get going. So I'm going to drop the four components we need here. Remember, these are all made for robots, so it's not optimal for humans, but it's not too bad. You've got two components there that flipped over. That's that's where you're going to slow down because you've got to turn those over by hand. So again, I'm not getting these particularly straight because I'm scro scroldering, soldering them at an angle, but I'll uh, get in there and sort them in a second. Just wanted to show you. Pop them in. Come on, boy. Come on, boy! So you can waste a lot of time fiddling around, but still, it's still quicker, I think, than messing with the through hole. So there's the four. And I did a really bad job of those. You can see I got them in a bit wonk. But I wanted to kind of do that on purpose because I wanted to show you how easy it is to correct them. So there you go, corrected, corrected, corrected. I'm just gonna touch this one down, there you go. Sometimes they, they kind of are pointing up in the air and you, you might not be able to see that. But if you just rest your uh, your iron on the top, you'll be able to push it down. There we go. Got that, got that, got that. So it's quick. See, that's pretty quick. It's just sorting the components takes you longer. But frankly, you always have to sort them, even if you're doing them... Uh, doing them regular style. I've got two uh, capacitors here. It sort of threw me a moment. You could hear I went quiet thinking about this. Um... And I guess that sort of marries up to these only two that we've got left here. So that is probably part of those. So let's just plop those on. I'm guessing it's going to be those two. I kind of can blame now somebody else though if this board doesn't work. I mean, if you've started a PCB and then you send it to me, I can just say, well, you know, I don't really, I can't guarantee what went on before me. So uh, it's always going to be a risk. And uh, sorry, I couldn't get it working in this instance. C28, C27, get down, get down, get down, just like that, see, just like that. And don't worry about it if they're not totally straight to the pads and stuff, it's okay, as long as electrically, as long as electrically it all makes sense, that's going to work. 
Now I don't want to rush ahead and just sort of leave a couple of the more annoying ones. So I'm going to, the other stuff's big, got diodes, LEDs, those things. We've got two interesting things that I do want to show you. These are the very tiny, you see these tiny 0402 pack stuff. These are like dust. These are the really, literally, I'm going to zoom in a bit further. Look at my fingernail, dust. So your tweezers, that's why you need good ones. And these are the resistor sort of packs. I can't remember what the official term is for them, but it's where you've got one, two, three, four resistors in one package. So that's quite nice. So let's just try to put them down. And I'll leave it zoomed in. We're just going to work on this little bit of corner here. Now I can see the board. Oh, look. The person who sent it actually has already done one. Bravo. I'm hoping that they've only taken one out of the pack, though, because look, there's a lot of missing stuff here so we might have lost a couple in transit although I could check I'll check this packet as well there might be something sitting in the bottom let's worry about that later so you can see it's sitting there like a like literally like a speck of dust um, so I'm going to just touch the pad there the soldering iron I'm going to try to really take some care now because I want to kind of show you what I'm up to it's basically the same technique, but if you look at the, sol the, the tweezers, yeah, I'm holding it, or trying to hold it, <laughs> by the very edge, like, just like that. Now I'm going to have to just put my hand under here to give you some contrast. <laughs> it's struggling to focus, but yeah, you can see it there? That is microelectronics at its finest. Just going to touch that now, put it down on the PCB again, and bang, that's it. Don't mess with it. Yeah, it's straight on. Now you've got to get the other side, but be quick. That's all I could say. Be quick. There you go. It's just, you make a small blob of solder and it will just deposit on there and bang, take it away. And then that's your resistor soldered. So that's how you do those. Again, it's just the same sold thing, take your time. Uh, and then we've got these other bits which go down here on this part of the PCB, which are these sort of ridges or whatever you want to describe them. And uh, I'm just looking at the circuit board. <laughs> I don't think there's any through hole wires here, actually. That I think is a totally independent circuit. It's not actually connected to this roulette wheel thing. So, mm -mm, and seemingly, Neither are these 0402. So this is almost like a, a test bit on the back. So these bits around the edge are a test. So yeah, I can get the LEDs in and fire this up without spending a whole day messing with it. So let's just do that. I'll do the 103s then here, these these 103 packages. Shit! Yeah. Now, you might have just seen what happened there. Boom! <laughs> it fired off. It literally, it's fired off. It's gone. Where could it be? I think it's lost forever, guys. Um, let's assume it lost forever. So if you're doing this at home, of course, and you're ordering parts, order more than you need. <laughs> Frankly, though, they're so cheap, these things, you're probably going to buy like 100 of them, even if you only need five. It's still going to be just a tiny strip of them. So there we go, that's the uh, package anyway. Have a look there, right in the centre of your screen. And we're going to try to drag it off onto there. Same technique there really, but I'm just going to solder one edge. And I'm going to do the one nearest me. So it sort of saves me having to sort of lean over the PCB while filming. But just choose whichever uh, edge is nearest you. Line it up as best you can. And then hold, hold it there. So when you let go, you've tacked basically one leg. That gives you a chance to just have a little breather. Have a quick look. Go, yeah. That looks pretty good. And if you need to, just turn the board, orient it around the way that suits you, and then just very easily tack the immediate opposite leg. Now it's locked in. Then you can roll with it. Now one technique is you can just go through, see like that? I put a blob of the uh, solder on the actual part and I'm just running it across each leg. And it's like a surface tension, drags your blob and then just sort of wicks it through. In fact, that's probably the only recommended way I'd say of doing it. So you can see that I'm just I'm being quite careless with it. But the only thing I need to just do when I've done that is afterwards I just check there's no bridges. I haven't bridged the two sides of the component and it's looking pretty damn good. 
So that's it. I'm not going to go and look for the other component, but yeah, I'm going to meet you back here in a moment after I just solder these LEDs on and we'll see what happens. I'm back, guys. I didn't want to deprive you of the LED putting down, so um, I uh, decided I'm going to film this last bit. I really had a quick go at some of these. Uh, Dean, who sent in the board, or Lesoli70, Les I want to say. Lesoli70 had done a pretty good job, actually, these components on this side because... Uh, these are the components obviously you tempted to do, but he's done the, uh, the correct trick really of tinning one leg so that you can then just sort of drop the LEDs onto the other. I'm just going to continue his good work really. He didn't put down any LEDs, I don't know why, but I'll for sure finish. You'll see on the PCB there's a mark which is a slightly darker mark. That's the end where you put the green blob. The LEDs have a little green mark on them. Just make sure you pop them the right way. That one didn't look quite so down, so I'm just going to pop that on. I hope I've got enough LEDs, because I will admit, during uh, the filming, well, during the actual pre-filming, I dropped my tweezers on, my big, on the pile of LEDs, and it may have thrown many of them out of the Earth's atmosphere, never to be found again. But I'm hoping we've got at least enough of them to finish this project, if not enough to actually test it. And you can see I've already, oh, see how that one jumped? I've already hooked our test power leads onto the bottom you can right here so that we can uh, fire that up as soon as we're ready but we've only just got a few more LEDs to do now the annoying thing is about this board it does go through like a, a rotatey thing it's it's like a clock face so a roulette wheel so you do have that rather annoying thing that you have to continuously change your orientation to match but that's okay I'm putting the LEDs down exactly the same way, just one tin leg and then just tacking the other leg on. God, they're like dropping buttered toast. They just want to fall the wrong way down every time. So there, that's it. I'm going to show you those. I'm going to just open the other packet, but that was the last of that first pack of them. I didn't like that one, so I'm just pushing it down in my finger basically while I'm applying heat. Keep it down. So we'll just unwrap these last four. Let me just count the uh, the spaces. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like I am missing one LED. I'm just... Uh, yeah, yeah, one LED is gone, guys. Oh, but I found this pack with something else in it. That's just a resistor. Yeah. I'm going to have to sacrifice an LED from somewhere. I think I'll finish the roulette wheel face and we'll just leave one off one of the edges because there's a few LEDs on the edge. I'm wondering if this came with a single LED in a different colour. Um, it might have come with a single LED in a different colour for the middle. I did see this knocking around, but that's an empty pack. Ah! Ah! Ooh! Just sitting, literally, just sitting on the deck was this LED that may or may not be from there. But crikey, that was lucky. That was absolutely lucky. That was in underneath the instruction manual, so I don't even know how it would have got fired off under that thing. Craziness. Welcome to the world of service mount, guys. You are dealing with things that just weigh absolutely nothing. Let's go for it, shall we? Right, there should be four. Four bits of dust when I'm done. And there we go, four bits of dust. Barely perceivable probably on camera. Uh, and luckily enough, they all actually lined up the uh, right way. I'm not gonna zoom in though. I think you have you get the point of how it's done. Just hold it in, tack one leg, wait two seconds, then get the next one. Hold it in, tack one leg, wait two seconds, get the next one, etc, etc. Yeah, nearly there. Hold your breath too. I just... When I go quiet there, I am actually holding my breath just to kind of... Get that focus for that brief nanosecond. Good. 
Now we're ready to just do the final, final sides of the LEDs. So I'm just going to touch these bottom ones here. Bang. Bang. And you see how I blew that away? Very dangerous move blowing that away. <laughs> surface mount stuff around. Good. See all that? That's pretty damn good. Damn good. So, you know, it, it is quick, right? It is quick. It's not bad. It just requires a little bit more in the setup time. But you're going to make something that's really nice and professional looking, fits, fits um, in tiny enclosures. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah. See? I was so quick. I even finished it before I even started. Yes, I could make a pun on that, but I'm not going to. Not in that. We're being professional today. How can PCB? Oh. Hmm. So there are four colours that are different. So you see this LED D6. Let's work on a live circuit, shall we? That'll be a rare treat for you. A rare treat. Um, yeah, there we go. We've got that LED off. Don't want to lose it. Ah. Right. So we've got the LED off and hopefully it's not ruined, but we'll cover that in a minute. Let's get the other blue LED off. Hang on, what am I doing? Yeah. Did I, I think I just removed an LED that didn't need to come off for some reason. Right, so that's the blue LED. I'm going to keep it just here off camera. Blue LED, right there. This one, I think, was the red LED that didn't need to come off. But it's now a molten mass of crud. But that's fine, I've just cleaned it up by rubbing the soldering iron on it. Bear with me, guys. I'm just uh, some things you shouldn't rush, as I've just demonstrated, because I just ruined, well, not ruined, but just removed a component that didn't need it come off. All right. So that red LED is back on. Thank you, those of you who screamed at the uh, screen, and I didn't hear you. Right, got a red LED. So we're going to put the blue LED back in this position here. Not quite happy with its positioning. There we go. And the final red LED. When it will just let go of my bloody tweezers, can go back here. Hooray! I think that's it. That's quite a nice thing, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at that. I would have gone maybe for a blue LED in the centre as well, unless there is another blue LED that I've missed. No, but they look all, all decent. So that's basically how you do it. And then the remainder of this board is, is a practice board for you to just solder all these bits, and then there's a few little test points so you can measure the total resistance and things like that but I'm not gonna to bother with those um, but thanks Dean for sending that to me um, I tell you what I'm gonna do though I'm gonna pop this on patreon please head over onto patreon and uh, yeah the first person uh, in the UK or maybe in the US who wants to contribute towards shipping can say give me that board give me that board bitch I want you to say that give me that board bitch in a message to me and I'm gonna pop it in the bag of all of the components and then you can have that and then you can practice the uh, remainder of the soldering how about that please like share subscribe if you're that way inclined leave comments down below I want to talk to you guys and as ever thank you for watching